Hey, it's Laura Waldman, the Abundance Activator here, and today we're going to be speaking about a very common abundance block, transforming beyond your family. So I've been working as a healer, a spiritual coach, and a channel for over 15 years now. I'm the author of Money Manifestation Mastery. I'm a manifestation law of attraction expert. And one of the things that comes up with my clients and also has come up for me personally when we are looking to welcome in a new level, whether that's a new level in your business, in your finances, in your health, in, in your relationships, whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest. What happens is we come up against these inner blocks and obstacles I call abundance blocks that can unconsciously stop you or block you from welcoming in that next level and also perhaps taking action towards what you truly desire. It's super fascinating. It's one of the reasons why I love this work so much because by welcoming in what you truly desire, by going for your dreams, you know yourself more deeply and there's really profound inner healing and transformation work that takes place with this work. So you need to have the courage to dive deep within. So one of the ones that's been coming up um, for some clients recently and also, like I said, has come up for me personally um, many times over the years is this thing around um, welcoming in a next level that is beyond that which your family has experienced. We want to feel connected as humans. We want to feel accepted. We want to feel loved. It's really important. It's an essential need. And when we go to create our life that's beyond what our family knows or beyond what our family experiences or beyond what our, our family welcomes in, this can trigger some very deep fears around you know, being judged, being rejected, being misunderstood, feeling alone, all sorts of things can come up. So I want to put a spotlight on it with you today so that you're aware when you're, when you're trying to create your life that is beyond what you grew up with, beyond your experience and beyond your family's experience, it can be really triggering. So what you need to do for yourself in this is first identify it, identify what's coming up. There's no need to blame or shame or make anyone else wrong. Everyone's just doing them. You need to focus on yourself, what you're calling in, what you want to create, and then do that deep inner work, inner healing, inner transformation work to help you expand beyond. So we want to have love and compassion on this journey as we move forward for others and for yourself. The inner work or the inner process is what I like to call inner child work, where you give yourself the love, the acceptance, the support that you need to feel safe to keep moving forward. It might be the love, the support, the compassion that you desire on a deep level from a parental figure or family. And, and unfortunately, you're not always gonna get what you want or need from the world around you, from whether that's family, whether that's friends, whoever. You need to be able to give yourself that love and acceptance and support first and foremost and do that inner work. So when you are taking those scary steps into the unknown, calling in what you desire and then actioning on that, just know it can really bring up some deep stuff. So you want to be doing a lot of deep, loving self-care. It's also really fascinating to understand the, the thoughts, the beliefs, the patterns, the programs that you were raised in. And it's fascinating to me how if there's something that we have not experienced, it can almost seem like a dream, you know, an impossible dream to have that as your experience. And, and also, those limiting thoughts, beliefs, programs, patterns from our family and our ancestors can also make it seem like what you desire is not possible or it keeps it out of reach. So we, it can end up feeling like you're chasing your tail sometimes. What I want you to do is just to not stop doing that inner work, to keep meeting yourself, facing yourself, understanding what's going on, being patient with yourself, and taking that next step. So 
you may need to do inner work, inner healing work to get, get support that you need in order to keep moving forward. I'm a huge fan of lots of self-care to keep aligned and keep connected and the support you need to be able to take action because sometimes we just need our hand held as we're stepping into the unknown, into a scary new arena. So go gently, go lovingly and compassionately with yourself and others and know that this is your path. It's not everyone's path. This is your journey and there will be many people who want to join you and play with you in this way and have that faith and courage to keep going. So if you like this video and you want more, please subscribe to this channel. I'd love to hear what you think. So comment below, like the video. And if you want to have some more support, I've got a free gift below, free training that you can access to really help you in all areas of abundance and manifesting the life and business that you truly desire. Sending you lots of love and speak to you soon.